So I've been fishing just for a couple minutes and I hooked into one pretty quickly but uh, lost and fell off. I haven't ticked bottom even once so I'm going to add a little bit of weight and I'm going to move across over into the shadows there and see if I can get into some fish but I think just a little bit of weight. I'm using a blue winged olive, probably size 16 nymph and then a uh, crest bug. Dave uh, Rough Rock's fishing up above me, get some footage of myself fishing, get some footage of him and hopefully we can bring some fish for you guys. catch anything or catch very little um, so if you're not catching fish just switch it up a little bit add a little weight if you're snagging on bottom too much take some weight off and find a happy medium Yeah, I landed four or five and lost two or three. Yeah. So, I mean, you can catch them. It's not like great fishing, but. No, this is really slow. Um, I'm experiencing something today again. Uh, I just can't believe that I can feel these, a lot of these takes. True sulfurs.
Holy cow. <laughs> what a way to end the day. John. Unbelievable. You can just see it's just everything's crawling. Oh yeah. Now look at the difference in colors of scuds. Look at this. There's a dark one. Mm -hmm. There's a real pale tannish uh, one. Yeah. Okay, there's a very light olive one. Oh no, that isn't. Yeah, that's a sulfur. That is an immature sulfur. See how pale it is? Yeah. Okay. They get much darker mm -hmm. when they're ready to hatch. Now, you will find an incredible variation in color anyway. Even in the ones that are yeah. mature, from almost black to what I call, consider, I consider light yellowish, uh, uh, brownish dirt color. But yeah, that was, that was what I was looking for. Ah, there's a darker one. Here we go. There he is. See how much darker that is? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, what do you got there? There's another betas. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are the three fr primary critters, well, four. Crush bugs, scuds, sulfurs, and betas.